Auckland Hospital Maternity Services are warning expectant mums they may be discharged three to four hours after giving birth. A maternity campaigner says the standard letter sent to Fano planning for an Auckland hospital delivery could put women in dangerous, dangerous situations and take away a mother's right to choose. Rwani Pereira has more. Jen Hooper knows more than most mothers how childbirth can go terribly wrong. Her 18-year-old daughter, Charlie, suffered a massive brain injury after a traumatic labour. I'm still spoon-feeding her. She's blind. She can't move a muscle and she doesn't know who I am. So things can go horribly wrong horribly quickly. And if you are at the hospital setting, that is the only time that you have access, the only time that you have access to either the people or the equipment. But those choosing to have hospital births are being asked to reconsider having their baby at Auckland City Hospital and go to a primary care facility like birth care or have their baby at home instead. This is an ongoing issue for years now and rather than finding a solve, they're putting it on the women to then change their mind when they've already made a fully informed decision with their healthcare provider. So it, it's frustrating. The letter from Te Whatua's women's health team warns mothers-to-be that if you have a baby at Auckland City Hospital, you will either be discharged home or transferred to a maternity hospital three to four hours after giving birth. It's really, really late in the game. My understanding too is that the letter is being sent generically. The one that I have seen has been sent to a woman with a previous caesarean that is booked for an elective caesarean because of her previous history. History. It's actually dangerous to send this information out just blanketed like this. They haven't even bothered to target the people that may be low risk. Te Whatua says their hospital discharge time frames are not absolute and are able to adapt depending on individual circumstances. They add that the discharge times are not because of resourcing pressures on their maternity services. My question would then be, why Health New Zealand are you even sending these letters out? if there's no issue. National currently has a bill before Parliament allowing three days of postnatal care if wanted or needed to give new parents greater protections and wraparound support because a low-risk pregnancy is no guarantee of a no-risk delivery. OK, Rewani, what has Te Whatu Order had to say in response today? Laura, this afternoon they said that uh, they don't want to discourage anyone from coming into hospital to have their baby. They claim that their messaging has been consistent to families over the past at least four years and uh, that the majority of uh, women come to hospital to have their baby and that there is enough capacity. Rowani Pereira, thanks for the update.